Trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yay! <laughs> Today I'm doing the long awaited review of Adawa. I'm going to start by saying that I'm skeptical. Just based on the ingredients, I'm skeptical like about how amazing it's going to be for my hair. But I fell for the hype, I fell for the sale, I got it. So we'll be trying it out right now. So I'm going to start with the Bow Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. I really need a shampoo and I really hope it's moisturizing. So let's see. Let's just get right into it today. Um, let's see what we got. It smells amazing even though I haven't put it on yet. I'll say that. Another midnight wash too. Actually, it's probably one o'clock by now. Um, okay, I know the seal's off now. Ooh. It's actually kind of hard to get out, <laughs> which is good actually. Maybe I'll be able to spread it better because it's actually kind of thick. It's like a cream. It's like, oh crap, that's the leave. No, it is a shampoo. For a second, I was like, is that the leave in? Because it's like so thick. But no, it is a shampoo. So, like the thickest shampoo you ever saw, basically. All right. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> but okay, we're going with it. It has the consistency. It's like a little bit, maybe like a custard because it's not exactly like a. It's definitely it's thicker than even a leave-in. It's like a light cream. Wow. Okay. Show you got your bicep working. <laughs> okay. Because I was saying like I smell the mint, but I don't really feel it on my scalp, which isn't good or bad. My shampoos don't have to be minty. I guess it could be an extra plus sometimes. It's kind of thick. Like I want to spread it some more. I don't want to put more. I just kind of want it to get a bump for the back. <laughs> So I don't want to take back on the spreads easily because it kind of does, but like it was still like I needed some in the back and it was a bit of a struggle to get some where I needed it. I'm like squeezing off some and then re replacing it somewhere else. I wasn't ready y'all. I guess I should have watched some of the reviews. Like, oh, I have watched the reviews. Somehow even though I've seen other well, reviews, I wasn't expecting a thick cream like that at all. Okay, wow. <laughs> I don't even think I need to say anything. Look at my hair. This is kind of wow, crazy. So it almost looks like I used a clear wash, but I didn't. I think maybe the hydroxyl that looks in there, so it's like a shampoo gel. So I do have some clumping and stuff. Like, kind of like, wow, okay. But yeah, I mean, most importantly, my scalp and my hair feel clean, smell clean, soft, moisturized. So yeah, I love it. I think this is gonna, this is up to the top of the list in terms of one of my favorite shampoos. It's still a little weird, so I'm still trying to get my mind around it. But it's probably my second favorite shampoo, if not my favorite. My favorite right now is the Inasi. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? Why do I, why did the shampoo pop my curls? Just felt like a serious clump somewhere here. Like my silky section is like, okay. Be popping. But anyways, yeah, I mean, my hair feels really clean and moisturized, smells amazing, and I have like curl definition, so I'm just like, okay, wow, very interesting. And I love the shampoo. Two thumbs up. Wow, I'm a believer, be wee <laughs> I'm skeptical about the deep conditioner still, so let's keep going. See if that's gonna wow me as well. <laughs> Gel shampoo, okay, girl. Okay, moving on. So next we have the Bauman Deep Conditioning Treatment and I'm glad it's kind of keeping it in the same theme because I love the, the scent and everything of this so I'm expecting, of the shampoo so I'm expecting that it's just going to keep the happiness going in terms of scent at least. Right away I like the texture, I love, like it's a nice kind of whip looking thingy in there. <laughs> Face not one, no. Let's get to application. Ooh, very, very thick, very thick. So... But it's not like hard, it's like thick but still kind of light. So it's very interesting. So let's keep, let's apply. I can understand why people are so like crazy about this now because it's so different. Because like even this is kind of different. But it's definitely feeling more on the buttery side. Like how much is it going to penetrate and 
concerned, but let's keep going. It is softening though. It being so thick, I'm just wondering about penetration and moisture for my low porosity. I mean, it's kind of one of like a, a natural slip. It's not like the extra like slip realm type of slip. It's like cream with okay. Is <laughs> it okay? Yeah, it's a cream with okay slip, but the slip isn't amazing for sure. Like if you don't have tangles, it'll be fine. If you have a tangle, it won't be impossible, but it'll just be a little difficult. So this is how much of the deep conditioner I used. <laughs> it's hard to tell in this kind of rounded jar, but I definitely used at least half of it, probably more like two thirds of it. So which isn't necessarily bad for the size because it's just eight ounces. So I guess this is about how much I would use, but since it was just thick and stuff, I don't know. Like I felt like I had to put a lot, but I guess I didn't because I don't know, but you know, okay. <laughs> I'm worried it's not like gonna penetrate, but we'll see. Cause you know, it feels like something may happen. I'm gonna let it sit for half an hour and then come back. But it's not like an instant penetrator, that's for sure. Um, if you have like low porosity here, but it doesn't feel bad either. So it maybe it's like almost there. So let me let it sit and come back and talk to you guys. <laughs> so I'm back after letting it sit. Did it work? We'll both find out. <laughs> um, Feels good, like I said, I have mint is on my scalp, the conditioner is tingling, and my hair feels soft. Yeah. Definitely feels soft and moisturized. Like, it did the thing, okay? Definitely feels soft and moisturized. So, shampoo is a win, and deep conditioner is a win. So, so far, so good, yeah. The only thing I would say about deep conditioner, you know, I would say this. It could have had a bit more slip. <laughs> That's like my favorite line for the most part, except for the few things that have crazy slip, but yeah. I'm not actually doing a wash and go, I think. I think I'm gonna try to do a twist out, <sighs> which just means me struggling on camera because I don't think I'll ever get any better at these things, but you know, I'm just trying to mix it up. And to be honest, I prefer to just pretty much live in a braid out for quarantine or live in braids for quarantine, but I'm just gonna mix it up and do like twists. Because I haven't done twists in a while and I'm curious and you're curious, hopefully, to see what twists will look like in my hair now. So I don't know, my curls are still like popping. It still has that wear definition thing since ever since the shampoo. Um, not wet in a bad way, wet in a good way. But I don't know, like I feel like more of that amazing feeling was on the product and after rinsing it did go down <laughs> like at least a point out of ten. So if I was gonna give it a eight and a half before it might be a seven and a half now so it kind of went down from yes it's one of my top shelf deep conditioners too it was nice <laughs> but yeah i still do like it though um but it just doesn't feel as good after rinsing but let me let me apply the leave-in and get to the rest of it and i don't usually rinse usually i mean i usually rinse in sections and then apply leave-ins i don't usually rinse at all but the few times i have rinsed at all i don't remember it necessarily feeling still you know a little bit rough I guess like I don't necessarily remember it feeling like this so I feel like some of the wow of that deep conditioner rinsed off with it then we have the leave-in styler um let me see what it's like I'm just gonna apply a bit everywhere and then kind of section it This is so thick, I'm like not even getting it out. <laughs> I know I took out the seal. <laughs> okay, it's coming out. So again, it's pretty thick. Maybe it should be in a jar, like it's super thick. I'm having that same way feeling I had with the shampoo, where like it's so creamy, you expect that a little is gonna go longer than it does, but then you're like, but it's just a little, so don't be hard on it, you know? Struggle is really getting this out. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, this probably needs to be like in a jar or something if it's gonna be this thick because I'm about to struggle life. So she took it out to get it out. <laughs> took out the cap to get it out. I'm like terrified it's gonna fall because the bottle is kind of slippery and then it's hard to get it out and it's just a lot going on. I would very much cry. <laughs> if the whole bottle fell while it was uncapped 
I don't usually have to take a cap out like that. Probably the thickest leaf I ever used, safe to say. So this actually isn't giving me as much of a minty scent as the other things. It's almost has a nice kind of sweet fruity, not she said, not she said it's sweet fruity, but kind of cakey. I'm trying to think of which memory it's given me. I'm gonna look at it in kind of like a leave-in only wash and go, I guess. But then I'm gonna section it and start plaiting. So my hair does actually feel soft again. <laughs> Again with the product on, so if I was rinsing in sections, I probably would have just been like, yeah, this is awesome. Um, minus the fact that my hands almost hurt me now. I was actually saying I lost all my grip strength since not being in the gym. <laughs> so if you're looking for grip strength, <laughs> this is a good leave-in to use. <laughs> just love your pull-ups right and tight. So I'm definitely worried that this isn't super low porosity friendly. It's more on my hair than in, I guess. Not in a bad, not in a bad way. Like it's not the worst. My hair definitely feels moisturized, but it also is kind of on my hair. So this is for people who like thick, buttery products more, I would say. And who don't have ultra low low porosity. But it's working. It's not like it's not gonna work for me. It will work for me. But it won't be my dream. Like it'll be somebody with higher porosity stream. Can't even say use it as a cream because it doesn't have much hold or anything either. It's just, I guess, a thick hair milk, <laughs> a hair cheese, <laughs> yeah, butter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because it's not like a butter texture either. It's definitely still a leave-in. It's just a really thick leave-in. So I don't know how to classify this and how I would use it again. Like that's what I'm trying to think of. Like, how would I use it again? But it's too thick to really want to put a gel or something over it. Like, I'll put like the that styling cream over it because I'm gonna twist. But if I was doing a wash and go, I wouldn't want to put something over this because it's so thick already. So the definition actually isn't bad. Um, I don't know that I've even added any definition. I did the shampoo and the deep conditioner both added definition. Um, but the definition definitely isn't bad from the leave in. It's just the leave in is kind of thick. So I guess if you could find a way to, like ideally I would just put water in it or like find a way to fill it out. But with it being so thick, it's hard to really imagine putting a gel on top of this, like, because you know how I feel about like double and triple things? Like, I just don't like to feel like a lot of stuff is going on. <laughs> like, this leaving is so thick, it's hard to, for me to imagine putting a gel on this. So to do a wash and go, I'd have to try to go really light on the leave-in, and then I don't know how moisturizing it'll be since it's not penetrating, so it's like a whole lot of stuff going on. <laughs> whole lot of math here. But, yeah. My hair does look good. Feels moisturized, feels slightly coated, good slip, um, and the product is kind of heavy, but curls are looking good. Really good. <laughs> Alright, this is the Curl Defining Cream. This actually does have honey, it has beeswax, which I'm not a fan of. This is like a real old school formulation with the beeswax, so I'm going to be shampooing this out. This is probably the lightest product so far. Very light. It doesn't feel like it's gonna like clump my curls or anything like that. So, not too sure what it's about really in terms of what is it adding to the process. I guess it's just more of a sealant than the usual kind of curl defining cream that usually has like moisturizing, buttery stuff, and some whole stuff. It doesn't have much whole stuff or defining stuff. It just it's kind of like a sealant, like the wax. So my hair doesn't feel more defined or anything. It just feels more sealed, maybe. <laughs> That's about all I can say for that cream. The curl defining cream that doesn't define. Okay, so this is it with the leave-in and curl defining cream. Just gonna do some few quick twists. Uh, actually, actually considering not... Um, not brushing it, just doing it like this. I mean, I mean, I try to be professional and at least use a comb. Even though I'm not even looking, so who knows what that part's gonna come out like, but it might be a bit better than using my fingers. I've not twisted out in forever. Like, years. <laughs> I prefer braid outs, it's just easier to do, simpler to do, less, 
less like more foolproof in other words but wanted to do something different so I like how the curly fining cream is a light consistency. That's what I like about it. Maybe it has slip and stuff too. I'll let you know. Probably ain't gonna stay. <laughs> Scared to even let it go. Well, let's just call that one. Okay, so this is the first three. Keep going, I guess. Don't feel like the cream necessarily adds much to the situation, I'll be honest. Besides wax that I'll have to shampoo out. But let me I'll add some cream so you guys can see. So I'm going to add some of this here. Um, Curly Fining Cream, which I said is the lightest product, <laughs> lighter on the shampoo and everything. Um, so I would say the Curly Fining Cream adds slip. Definitely doesn't have any kind of whole feeling. Um, but yeah. So that I can make you see just how you make me feel. And I wonder if this is real. So I do feel like my twisting, I want to say tentatively, I feel like my twisting is getting better. <laughs> I know, right? I was just saying that, but I don't know, like, I feel like my technique, you know what I mean? I don't know. Probably like what you guys talking about looks ridiculous, but I don't know, that's how I'm feeling. I feel like it's getting better. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm excited. Well, this is it, like several hours later. I actually thought I did a good job in terms of the roots and doing it tight until I looked in the mirror and then I just wanted to like trash the whole room. But, um, hmm. Nothing about the pin can fix, I suppose. But this is why I like braid house because it's a lot easier to get it tight <laughs> or just you know a good amount of tightness not loose at the roots but anyways we're rolling with it and the bottom looks good <laughs> even though the roots are kind of slack so yeah that's it i'm gonna see you in a couple days i guess to show you the takedown <laughs> hi everyone i'm back <laughs> so they're all dry um sorry turn around so i'm not gonna really torture you guys with me taking them down because i really don't think i've gotten any better at that but i'm just gonna take them down <laughs> and then get to the review and i'm gonna use this oil to take down so at least we can see what this is about i really love the scent of this collection like if i have to say what's my favorite thing about this collection is the scent i love this mint scent i never knew i loved mint all through a collection until she gave me mint all through a collection so i just want to say that it's hard to really review oils like it's not it's not very viscous um and i can feel my my the pads of my fingertips through it i guess is what i mean like it's not very thick you know um but it smells great and seems to have nice slip and everything so yeah let's get to it um like i said i don't even care right now okay let me try a little bit better than that, but, all right okay so i don't know can you see so that's one and i really will mostly come back and show you guys the the rest at the end i'm really trying to determine like my hair doesn't feel dry but it doesn't feel super moisturized either so i was trying to see like okay like how dry how moisturized is this um i don't know it feels right down the middle <laughs> how's it look that's what it looks like. So I knew from the time I did these, I was gonna have to like use a bob uh, bobby pin because like the roots. <laughs> I thought I was doing the roots so tight, and then when I finished, it was like nope. <laughs> if anybody was following me in hopes that I would get good at twist outs and braid outs, I guess. <laughs> yes, yes, we're in part ways because I think I'm forever hopeless. 
I can ease moisturize. I don't want to say it's not moisturized. It's just not super duper. It's definitely not feeling like soft and you know, ooh and all that. It's a little bit teeny weeny bit not super moisturized. This is the initial takedown. Looking a little all over the place. I want to say it's holding a little better than worst case. So that's something. Because when I saw like pretty much no whole ingredients, I really was just bracing myself for a potential frizz ball at the end of this. It's kind of giving me some hold. Like my hair really not feeling amazing or anything like that. So I think I would just say maybe get the shampoo. <laughs> maybe get a deep conditioner. I don't know. And the others just get it if you want to try it. I guess maybe I still want to try the gel. I don't know. Even like this, it's not horrible. I mean, you know. I'm sure I could even fluff it more and even I could get a little cuter, but I think it's alright, right? So I can just get on with the review because I'm not going anywhere anyways. Let me give you a little bit of the inside. <laughs> okay, so this is it. But usually when I'm taking down, I'm usually like, ooh, my hair feels so soft. Ooh, it feels so juicy. Ooh, definition. And this time I, could, I wasn't saying any of that. I was just like, get this out because it wasn't super moisturized. Definition was okay, but like, eh, 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 not that great. It was okay, like, I mean, my hair feel, my hair looks kind of cute, which is good considering it was me that took it down. And I want to say twist outs are easier to volumize, so that's something good for twist out. Because like a braid out, I feel I would have been struggling to get some more volume, so yeah. Kind of effortless volume is one good thing about twist outs. I don't even mind the curl pattern that much, even though I prefer the braid out curl pattern. But, anyways. Enough struggle about that. Twist out, yay, yay. This is my twist out, this is my result. And it's okay, but you know, should I keep trying you anyway? Anyway, okay, let's get to the review. <laughs> so basically everything I said while I was applying still stands. I don't really have to do much kind of post review anymore since I've been reviewing kind of live in the shower. But let's just go over everything again. I started off with the moisturizing shampoo and I was just super amazed. It was moisturizing, it was cleansing, loved the mint. My hair was like laid for some reason, like just kind of clumped and flat and defined. I'm like, okay, what's going on? But most importantly, my hair was cleansed and moisturized. I, it even had a little bit of, I could put my hands through after rinsing. So A plus, I love the shampoo. I think it's going to be my second favorite, but it could be my favorite too. It, I, it's just like up there in the top two with the Nasty shampoo. The reason I'm not sure how to feel about it is because I'm not sure how to feel about the clumping. I have to figure out like what. So I know it has hydroxyl cellulose in here. So I just want to figure out and sit and process what is making my hair so laid with the shampoo because that's kind of weird to me. But it's where it's supposed to be good, right? It's supposed to be a good thing. So maybe this is a good wash and go shampoo. I don't know. But it smells great. Cleans great. Foam great. Nice slip. Moisturizing everything. This was my favorite definitely from... The collection that I try. I don't think I have everything. I love the gel. The deep conditioning treatment. So this I did enjoy. It was definitely a sitter because it was super thick. After I let it sit, my hair did feel moisturized and everything. I felt like when I rinsed it, my hair kind of lost some of that great feeling. So it's kind of like a little bit, hmm. But then I don't usually rinse my deep conditioner anyway, so I don't want to knock it for that because maybe they all do that. The few times I have rinsed deep conditioners, though I haven't noticed that much of a loss of goodness, so I don't know. But my hair did feel moisturized and I feel like if you go directly from this section by section to a great leave-in, that's gonna have a dreamy experience. It's really hard to show you the ingredients because it's really teeny weeny, but I'll try. Too close that I can't focus. So. This is a deep conditioner. So then we went into the leave in grip treatment. <laughs> so if you work, if you like, if you work, then you need to get your strength up. Don't even bother to buy those fancy things. Just squeeze this bottle because, yeah, the, the leave in is super duper thick. Eventually, I just took this off, and even after I took off this cap, I still had to struggle to get it out. I, I, don't, even, like, I don't even think I, should, I have to be scared. <laughs> it's so hard to get I don't even think I have to be scared right now. I can just keep going, because this way I even move inside there yet, so. <laughs> so super thick leave-in. It was super thick and super heavy, so by the time I put it on, I really didn't want to put anything else over it, just because of how thick it was and how 
much was on my hair and then also because of how thick it was I was worried that it wouldn't be penetrating so even though it felt moisturizing going on I was worried that the moisture wouldn't really get in there so you know products can be softening which is like make the outside of your cuticle feel nice but not necessarily moisturizing and I was worried this would be one of those which I don't want to say it was because my hair isn't super dry but again it's dry this is two days later and I can feel that it's dry so that's a bit of a problem so I wouldn't repurchase the leave-in I don't even know how I'm gonna use it out to be honest because it's so thick I don't know what to tell you maybe try it as a conditioner like a rinse out conditioner like that's the only thing I can really think of doing with this the only thing I can do is either add water or use it as a rinse out but I think like the slip was okay and everything and for the deep conditioner the slip was okay and everything The styling cream, I didn't feel like if it really clumped my curls or anything like that. I didn't feel like if it added any hold either, so I'm not sure what it's for. If it's not for the definition or hold, why is it a styling cream? Like that's the part I'm kind of lost about. I would say this almost felt like it should be the leave-in, but it has shea butter and beeswax really high up, so I wouldn't use this as a leave-in either. Yeah, so I guess I would use a super moisturizing leave-in and then try to use just a little bit of both of these, I guess, to finish them off. Or give them to somebody with higher porosity here. That's probably the best answer. And the oil. It's hard to review oils. It's slippery, smells nice, and kind of did the job for the takedown. I don't have a whole lot of frills. Especially like given like how little hole the cream had. I was worried that it could go really south in terms of frills. But it did held together pretty nice. If I do say so myself, and I do, so yeah, so nothing bad to say about the oil. So usually I love when you can throw in a little humectant in the oil, it's kind of like a miracle to me. I throw in some aloe, throw in something, but this is just straight oils, which you know isn't bad, isn't, you know, but it's not as moisturizing as if you could get some humectants into it. So I was super excited to try this line, I was so excited, I saw everybody reviewing it, of course I'm always super late, because I gotta, it's a whole process. I see everybody reviewing it, but like, I haven't gotten to that yet in my mind really, and it just takes me another few months. And people are like, I do what, and they're reviewing something else, like rice water, meal, I think everybody's reviewing right now, I'm always behind. But I wanted to try this because everybody was raving about it, and I was like, you know what? It can't, I don't know, I have to find the truth. Like, I have to know if this is really as good as people say or not. Like when I was watching the reviews, so that's all I was thinking. I have to try this for myself and let and figure out and let you guys know if it's really that good or if it's overhyped. And my final conclusion on that is that they were not lying to you. This line is amazing. If you have higher porosity here, it will totally rock your world. Because as long as you can get this stuff to penetrate, it'll be amazing. The only problem for this, with this is like the wax, the shea butter and stuff is not your friend if you're low porosity, like me. So, and I was looking at the ingredients, I was like, that ain't gonna work for me. Like the, not the shampoo, but the moisturizing stuff, I was like, eh, that ain't gonna work for me. But, you know, hype and sale and everything, I tried it. Plus, I just wanted to know, you know, could it be the really that great that everybody's saying and I missed out. But, the moral of the story is to stay in your lane, you know what works for your hair based on ingredients, and just stick to that, because if you don't stick to that, eh, you'll be like me, womp womp. And you know, I just have to hope this video isn't boring because I'm feeling so uninspired. Like, even when I was putting it, like doing the twist, I was feeling kind of excited. But like today and yesterday, all the excitement went. I think the excitement died from the minute I realized I didn't do my wrist tight. <laughs> but the excitement really died when I woke up next day and my twists weren't looking juicy and amazing. They were looking kind of dry and like, oh, what's going on here? So, yeah, womp womp. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to knock the brand because like I said, if I was higher porosity, I'd be just like, no. So the problem isn't the products, it's my hair basically. It's not you, it's me. So yeah, that's my final review on it. I do believe the reviewers were honest, but warning if you're a little porosity, probably just get the shampoo. I have to look at the gel ingredients and I'll let you guys know in the, co in the description box if I recommend that. But if you, those of you who follow me and like it, low, low porosity approved, then, hmm, hmm, yeah, I think just skip this one. That's my, that's my recommendation. Of course, if you're curious and you want to try it, try it. Love, I love the labeling, I love the scent, and I did have a happy wash day, 
but two days later my hair is like uh so yeah all right so i guess i'll leave it at that thank you guys for watching i do like my twist out yay and i'm doing a twist out because i haven't done one in forever so let's get in there and you know remember this <laughs> yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one bye